I have always made it very clear that I will never rule this country without your mandate since we started elections. And I will never cheat or dispute the elections because this is the most transparent, rig-proof elections in the whole world. Our system is unique. And we have decided to go to the polls for you, the Gambian people, to decide who you want to lead you. You have spoken in no uncertain terms. Remember that I've always told you that even if my opponent leads by one vote, I would accept the results because they are transparent. Our system of elections is winner take all. Be it two votes, three votes, one vote, he has a majority. We have 800 and 68,000 Gambians registered to vote for these elections. Out of this, 525,000 Gambians voted, leaving 362,000 who have never showed up. Whatever are the reasons for this 300 plus thousand people that have decided not to vote, that is immaterial for me. I do not wish to contest to find out why they didn't vote. It is between them and God. What I'm concerned about and why I'm here is those who have decided to vote, 18,978 more votes than I were cast for the opponent, the opposition coalition leader. I hereby take this opportunity to congratulate Mr. Adama Paro for his victory. It's a clear victory because our system says a, clear, a simple majority. I wish him all the best. And I wish, you all, uh, I wish all Gambians the best. As a true Muslim who believes in the Almighty Allah, I will never question Allah's decision today or at any material time. I came on a Friday, 22nd of the month of July, 1994. Today, Friday, the 2nd of December, 2016, you Gambians have decided that I should take the back seat. You have voted for somebody to lead your country, our country. This is our country, and I wish you all the best. <laughs>